Hey, what's good everyone? This is probably going to be a quick review. This is going to be the New Balance M2002 RHP. A sneaker that already released like I think six months ago or so and I bought this around Christmas so three months ago and it's been laying around my place ever since and I'm gonna tell you why I like it so much and why I bought it and why it shouldn't be sitting on shelves so we're gonna jump into the details right away let's go so like I said I bought the M2002 RHP ages ago already and I haven't worn it yet because I haven't done a review. Usually I like to do a review first and then wear my sneakers because I just simply don't like dirty outsoles. But why do I like it so much? Because it reminds me a lot of the New Balance M1600 LE which is a limited edition sneaker I think it only released in Asia and of the 1700 NJ. Both of them are very similar, just that the New Balance logo here is more of a yellow with these two and this is more of a gold color. But other than that, they're pretty much identical. And I'm not sure, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these might have sold out in Asia because of the popularity of the 1700 and the 1600 because of the huge similarity. But over here in Europe, nobody cares about them and they have been sitting ever since they released and I have been eyeing them forever as well since they released never pulled the trigger because i didn't want to spend so much money and i didn't want to buy so many sneakers anymore so uh yeah i waited it out and i knew these are going to go down and i bought these i think for almost 50 percent discount so yeah happy me um so let's dive real quick into the details here it's your very standard 2002 outsole black and cream nothing fancy here there's also nothing really fancy about the midsole same thing cream midsole a little bit of color touch here with a gray in the front and a gray part at the heel which i really like are these blue energy pods that's exactly my thing and i think this gives it a little nice touch we have a gray smooth leather on top which is very uncommon for the 2002r most of them are suede i think one of the few smooth leather versions is for example the lemon haze i think it was one of the first one it was the first one with the smooth leather and uh, i think i can't even really point my fingers on another one that has smooth leather there are of, of course advantages to the kind of material because you can almost wear them at any weather if it's raining you just clean them it's gray it's awesome so nothing's really gonna have a happen to these sneakers and they're easy to clean easy to maintain and even they do not really deserve to be beaten around all the time you can do that with them so awesome sneaker for fall and spring and if the weather is just changing all the time so that's also the reason why i bought them actually so uh but further with the review we have a gray mesh underneath at the toe box at the color and underneath the tongue on top of the tongue there is a durabuck material in gray and this little part here is blue we have some blue vamp stripes made up the same durabuck material durabuck is an artificial nubuck it's a little bit more blue parts here at the at the color with the gold branding on top we have new balance branding at the heel we have a gray cloth in a liner and a gray insole new balance running we have new balance running also on the tongue logo New Balance logo here at the bottom of the laces. Outside and inside are pretty much the same. Like I said earlier, the 1700 and the 1600 both have a yellow New Balance logo. This is gold, but I think the difference is so subtle. It really reminds of both of these models and the rest of the colors are pretty much spot on. And if you flip through Instagram, you see a lot of people, especially from Asia, uh, putting these into the collection with the other bunch of sneakers that I just mentioned so very very popular over there but nobody cared about them here in Europe and really undeservingly so because I think this is really nice colorway you can wear this with almost anything the sneaker does not come with these laces the cream ones I put them in myself it comes with gray laces but I think the cream colored one here match it really nicely and I prefer it over the gray ones and other than that there's not much more to add to be honest um material they are okay they look fine they feel fine uh a little bit premium but to be honest 
it is a middle of the road leather with a coating on top and to be honest i think the coating is so thin you really have to watch out not to scratch these or you're probably gonna have severe scratches in them i wouldn't trust it i wouldn't beat them around too much I think it's pretty much the same stuff that Nike is putting on the sneakers. Those that feel a little bit more premium, uh, especially on the Urochi, you have the same kind of stuff. But it's okay. It's not like it's gonna be falling apart any minute or something like that. But uh, you do not want to beat them around or scratch them over rocks and concrete and stuff like that. You're gonna have really, really big scratches in these because the layer is pretty thin. Um, sizing. I am a 12.5 in made in US New Balances. I'm a 13 in made in England New Balances. I'm a 13 in Essex and at Nike. I'm a 12.5 in Adidas. I'm a 13 in Kahu. I'm a 12.5 in Diodora N9000 and a 13 in the V7000. So these should be enough of references for your own sizings and you should be able to tell what you need to grab. So that's it actually there's a bunch of more videos coming out because i have a bunch of stuff piled up that never did read before i have a i have some stuff coming in i have some other kind of views that i want to do so watch out for that and i hope i'm gonna see you in not only one of those videos and all of those videos and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i'm gonna see you in the next one so thank you very much for watching and until next time bye bye